Here we have a very nice metal case, a bit like a cigarette case, and inside is a small adding machine, the Ken Ad. It was made in St. Paul, Minnesota, and it comes with a flat metal stylus. It has four dials, each with a window showing the current digit. You can enter uh, small dollar amounts to uh, add them together. For example, I can add, uh, enter uh, $2.50. Uh, to enter the 2, put the stylus in the 2 and turn the dial clockwise until it uh, can't go any further, until you hit this tab. And then the 5 for the 50 cents, like that. And now the windows show $2.50. I'll add uh, $6.75, so I'll enter 6, 7 and 5. And as you can see, it carries over automatically to show $9.25. I'll do it one more time, I'll add 80 cents. And it carries over to show $10.05. Unfortunately, it cannot subtract. If you try to subtract by turning the dials in the opposite direction, it will not uh, borrow from the next digit up. You can, of course, subtract by adding complementary digits, but uh, there are no markings on the case to help you with that. Uh, to reset the dials to zero, look at uh, the, each dial and find the hole that has uh, a marking, a line next to it, and turn that uh, hole anti-clockwise until you can't go any further, and that resets that digit. There we go. The uh, the Ken Ad was uh, designed by Kenneth Pangburn in 1949. Uh, it came on the market in the next year, 1950, and that first version had a, a more a normal stylus, a bit more like a pencil, round and thick. So the case here had a much deeper groove to, uh, to hold the stylus. The windows were also uh, deeper, more rounded for the, the windows for the digits and the dials. Um, yeah, this later version came in in around 1955 or so, and yeah, that's it's a bit flatter, so it's probably easier to to make from uh, from the metal. Possibly also cheaper. The lid of the case. It used to have a magic slate in it, which is a, a sort of a, a rubber backing with a plastic front sheet. And you can write on that with a stylus. And uh, yeah, the writing shows up. And you can then clear it by lifting up the plastic sheet and putting it back. You could use that. Uh, magic slate to uh, write down your shopping list or whatever and then uh, use the adding machine to add up your totals while you were shopping. So the Ken Ad was uh, made until the late 1950s I think, probably 1958 or 59. The mechanism inside is identical to the lightning adding machine, or the lightning calculator. And uh, yeah, so it wasn't patented. The Ken Ad does have some design patents though. The look and uh, yeah, shape of it was, uh, was patented. And uh, yeah, there are several other small adding machines, very similar. It uh, shouldn't be confused with the Kess Ad, which was another small adding machine with four dials named after its inventor. In that case, a Kessling. 
This one was named after um, Kenneth, the first name of the uh, designer. So this was the uh, Ken Ad small adding machine. Thank you for watching.